And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about Telltale, obviously a play on the words Tall Tale. Uh, Telltale's, <laughs> it's not really a game. It's, it's more of an activity. You're, yeah, you're just telling a story. Now, we all like to tell stories. Uh, some people can tell stories. I like to tell stories. The story of Dan Green, the Green Gorilla. And the story of Polly, the explorer, who found the seven lost cities of candy. She didn't find all of them yet. Okay, well, eventually, by the time Melody's 18, we will, we, Polly will finish her story, probably, hopefully, maybe. Anyway, I like to tell stories. Lots of people like to tell stories. This is kind of a tool to help you tell stories. Let's take a look at it. You have to realize here that this is not really a game per se. It's more of a cooperative exercise. In fact, the rule book here, uh, Telltale, has rules for multiple different games in here. But in reality, they're all the same game. Okay, Whether you're drawing from one pile or each person has six cards, basically it works like this. We take the pile and we turn the card over and we start some story. And so I can say, once upon a time, there was a boy whose father was very poor, but then he won the lottery. But, as his father was coming home from work that day, he got bit by a snake and died. So the boy was very sad, but he was able to surf the internet and found a nice adoption agency. And where he was adopted by a family who seemed to love him, but they loved his, their baby boy much more than he. So he decided to become a world-famous mountain climber. Okay, this is a ridiculously terrible story. But this is basically how it works. You can use these pictures in any way you want to make a story. So the different games are each person can take four cards. And then you flip the cards over and you, you tell one big story together. Or you can take six cards and make your own story up using the different things on the cards. You know, Each card can present an image. You know, Here it is. It could be jail. It could be someone locked up. It could be breaking out of prison. It could just be building something out of iron. It could just be about hands. I mean, really, there's no kind of limits to here. Or you could do what I did where there's a thing in the middle. Now, to me, the, the most fun way to play this is when everyone's telling the same story because you kind of twist and turn the story to your own thing. And this isn't much different than just, you know, at camp getting around in a circle and doing the same thing. Only here you basically have what amounts to a prop with different pictures on it that allow you to tell the story. So that's the game. As I've said several times in this review, this is a activity, or an activity not, not a game really. I mean, the games in here still come out to be an activity. You can make, each make your own story and vote in them. I'm very happy with the artwork. I'm very happy with the variety of pictures. The whole thing just lends itself to just telling stories. Now, granted, you could argue and say you don't need this to tell a story, and that's true, but it is a nice little device that helps you. But let's see what the kids think. What do you think of Telltale? Because I like to tell stories. So you like it? Alright. Amy, what do you think of Telltale? I like it because it, when we get them passing it along, it turns into funny and, and funnier stories. Okay. Melody? I really like the game because I also like telling a lot of funny stories. Yeah, and the game lets you, I mean, what's, uh, you know, it's just really funny because you'll be telling a story and someone else will turn over the next card and they'll completely change your story. Yeah. A character who was a hero suddenly dies in the next one or... Gets married. Gets married. Gross, right? Alright, so there you go. Tell tale. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.